When we talk about the story of memory foam, it's important that we address people who share a bed because... We don't yeah, share a no, bed, no, now we're doing. No, no we, have, we have twins, don't we? <laughs> <laughs> twin room, everywhere we oh, go, dear. twin room, twin room, <laughs> and a bolster. Anyway, <laughs> if you don't know what a bolster is, it's like one of those long sausage pillow things, isn't it? It keeps yeah. us apart. Anyway, um, if you share your bed with somebody, if you haven't got a memory foam mattress stopper, uh, some people have problems with their bladders and they're up and down all night, aren't they? If you share your bed with somebody, and no, this, this relates to a lot of people, you might, ha you might have a husband who gets out of bed and is back all the time, and every time he gets out and rolls on and rolls on, he sort of shakes the bed. <laughs> <laughs> oh, but with a memory foam mattress stuff, it gives you stability, doesn't it? Because, well, I, I'm going to illustrate this. Um, for example, if you can imagine this is your ordinary spring bed, we always say every action has an equal and opposite reaction. So if, if this is, say for example, now this is Lowen on her side and this is me, and I'm getting up to go for a pee in the middle of the night and I'm going, oh, oh. <laughs> where's the light switch? <laughs> now, now Paul Lowen is going, oh, you've woken me up again. Well, you've woken me up if you do, oh, 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 oh. Is that what you do? <laughs> no, I'm looking for the light switch. <laughs> <laughs> so, so, so that's what could happen if you just got on with springs. This mattress topper could potentially change your life because what we're going to do is a reconstruction. Um, <laughs> actors are used for the purpose of this presentation. You know, could you lie down and get into the position that you normally adopt at three o'clock in the morning? And I'm going to pretend that I've got a problem with my bladder. So, <laughs> so if you're fast asleep, you've probably been uh, you've probably been asleep for my, uh, you've probably uh. been asleep for about two or three hours and. Now what I'm going to do, now bearing in mind I'm on memory foam, I'm now going to have a... Hang look, on. If you keep talking, I've lost my talk, but... Now, Lowen is very, very comfortable there and she's been asleep for three hours. Now, because I'd actually be, I would be lying on my side. Now, so be gonna... be because I've got memory foam, even if I've got a bit of a wriggle and I've got to do up my pyjamas and do up the string and then <laughs> get out of bed, I'm finding <laughs> Lowen quite stable here. She's totally unaware that I've done up me my drawstring, <laughs> I've, I've looked for me, for me monocle, <laughs> and I've gone out of bed. Now, I'd probably take about three or four minutes, maybe if I was more concerned, five. But then I come back, I turn out the light, now I don't want to disturb her. I now release my drawstring, because that's how I sleep. <laughs> <laughs> and I get back to bed. <laughs> Have I disturbed Lowen? No, I haven't. I haven't disturbed Lowen. Now, we're going to do a reconstruction a little bit later without the memory foam topper. And you watch her toss and turn. Because you do turn without a memory oh, foam mask. Am I talking sense? <laughs> it's all right, Harry. It's just clear to me why. You're on your own in bed. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's too much of a palaver. Good. Yes, with your drawstring and your... <laughs> anyway, we've got some footage to show you. Let's have a look at this footage, because this is a big lorry.